Yeah, just to relate uh, going on about MOOCs to the drama show, it's, if, you, if you haven't heard the show before, I am doing my own plays um, about... Uh, well, it sort of started, started from why, why are there so many buildings for student accommodation in Exeter? And also, why, 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 why isn't there more online investment and energy... Uh, part, partly this is around radio, but also just around study or what what the ed, u- universities or schools are doing. And since I started doing the drama show, it's, it's gone more into a, a drama format as a way of debating about it or thinking about it. So there's t- there's two plays that one one is if you look for hashtags, uh, CD Walk is walking around Exeter looking where the music retail used to be and where the student accommodation is is going up or has been going up and just asking why uh, there's not some sort of comparison between the two situations so there might be a 10 year gap 15 year gap I don't know the trouble is the music the music scene it, it, memory is strange and you can't you can't really remember when the record shop was normal, and when when it stopped being, and when the streaming platforms stopped being pirates and became investments, so that but that doesn't matter. Once you put it into a drama, um, you don't have to be too precise about about dates. And the the other the other one is about the ruins of the fortress university. Um, partly because Kendall has got a, got a wonderful ruined castle um, that follows on from a, a talk by Peter Horrocks when he was Vice Chancellor of the Open University at Durham. Um, so he w- he was talking about the future learner, the the MOOCs in general, and how that might open up what he described as a fortress university to be more accessible, cheaper, uh, more lifelong, and relating to skills. Do, 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 so there's a lot about digital transformation in Peter Horrock's talk, which is unlisted at the moment. I don't know why Durham have made it unlisted, but that, that's how that is. Um, so there's two two phases of that, because there's two hashtags. One, one is... Um, Siege K, which was during the lockdown, the idea that at that at that time the Fortress University was in good repair, so you you got to find another location somewhere um, for what was going on in Kendall. So there, there was a, a normal Fortress University, but just outside of it, there were talks going on about technology and about marketing, and um, they they gradually had some influence inside the Fortress University but eventually the lockdown came to an end and everything went back to normal that's that's apparently how things ended uh, with Siege K but then um, Ruins HE happens sometime later some point in the future when uh, there will be um, something else happening that that creates the ruin situation and some sort of discussion inside of that and maybe we're we're getting towards the backstory of that situation so it's something that's happened between these two time spans which could be on either side of an interval in a theatre quite possibly and I, I think yesterday the news that Accenture has bought Udacity it's def- de- this will definitely get a mention in in the play in some format I mean, in, I, I don't know how many names will be changed but um, re- recently the share prices of um, the EdTech Mookie uh, schemes has, have, have been dropping um, to you who bought um, EdX a while ago for eight hundred million dollars, 
their their share price is is less than a dollar or has has been. So something's something's gone wrong there, and Coursera that was doing well isn't 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 doing as as well as you might think. And I think it's all to do with AI. Um, that AI is going to be disruptive in a lot of different ways. Um, so M- Microsoft have re- recently done a, a, a webcast about reimagining education and they're issuing certificates themselves um, as a result of courses. They're, they're also giving away a lot of information about how their security works, for example, or how their cloud systems work. Um, but they're also issuing certificates. Um, so that might that might be com- competition for uh, Coursera or um, anybody really, um, but uh, Coursera are working with Google and IBM and maybe somebody else, and and a, a, cu- a couple of universities as well. But um, there's there's a lot there's a lot of things changing. So I think I, th- I think this. Um, Accenture news is is interesting because they're they're fairly credible um, in a way that the university isn't or wasn't didn't turn out to be. Um, they've got they've got a lot of funding, so if it does take a little while, which it might not do, um, if they if they offer training in AI uh, as well as advice about around it, and they use it to um, choose the, 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 the bit of it, the curriculum that they're going to offer to particular situations, particular individuals, it, it, it might work, work really well.